Patrick Pouyanné, you are the uh, chief executive officer of Total, and you are a big player now in Iran. Yeah. What is your feeling about the, the Trump attitude towards Iran? How do you deal with sanctions? Uh, you know, there is a simple rule. We respect all the international law, and for the time being, there is a nuclear agreement, which was signed January 16, which allows European companies to make business in Iran. Of course, we are subject to some primary sanctions, which means no US dollars, no US persons. So we can do that. So does that mean that you're having to finance everything yourselves? Yeah, we finance, in fact, the projects we are targeting there, which is a development of a gas field. It's financed on equity by ourselves. So in Euro, we are a Euro company, you know. And uh, so we don't need any project financing on that project, which, of course, helps us. But we have also to be sure that no US person is involved in the project, which is, uh, of course, uh, an effort. And we are, but I can tell you, we have done all what we need to be compliant with the laws. Which must be difficult. I mean, you're an international company, you have a lot of employees. Well, but we, I know we have, an, well, I have one advantage. I'm, more, I'm not so big in the US, so we don't have so many US persons in our, in our staff. So it's quite easy in, in our company to try to, to ring fence people who are taking care of these uh, Iranian What about business. if there are secondary sanctions, though? Uh, if there are secondary sanctions, you know, we have no choice. I mean, if, uh, and it's why today we are in a period where after the decision of Donald Trump to send back the topic to, uh, to the Congress, we will, we are, wait and see, I would say. I don't know what will come out of the Congress. I think that, um, you know, you have a lot of people, and I noticed that John Mattis, uh, Rex Tillerson went to the Congress to declare that uh, it's in the national interest of the U.S. to maintain the agreement. These are the adults in the White House. I don't know. Everybody's an adult. It's not. Uh, I think. I think fundamentally that uh, this agreement uh, to, to 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 put this nuclear difficulty aside is of interest for many people, for many countries. It does not mean that we solve everything with Iran. I can understand the difficulty there, but you know, at a time where we try to convince North Korea, I think to accept a, a nuclear agreement. It could be difficult to convince North Korea to believe in the, in trust some countries that a nuclear agreement can be enforced if at the same time she's a through another one uh, in the bin. So I think, I suspect, uh, by the way, for us, I mean, uh, this debate between the president and the Congress is, is good. In 60 days or 40, 40 days today, we have a bit of clarity, I think, of what is the framework that the U.S. wants to apply. And then we'll see, because obviously the International Nuclear Agency declared that Iran is compliant. Sure. Which means that the European countries and China and Russia will consider that this agreement is still valid. So we'll, it will be an interesting time. I mean, you're in, a, in an industry which is always political. Mm -hmm. What is going to happen with the standoff between Qatar and uh, Saudi Arabia? UAE, Egypt, etc. Uh, that's another point. You know, that's a, it's, a, it's a more bizarre matter, I would say, between Sunni countries at a time where you have a, a divide between the Sunni world and the Shia world and Iran. And uh, to see that rule, clearly uh, there is a strong disagreement about uh, between Qatar and uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, United Arab Emirates. For us, you know, we are working in all these countries. And what I declare to them is it's not meet we will choose between you. You know, we are. Our job is to be to do our best in Qatar, to do our best in the United Arab Emirates, to do our best in Saudi Arabia. I will not choose, and for a single reason, because I think uh, loyalty to each country is very important. And I'm a commercial company. I, I, I'm not a political body. And if I'm going to see to, to tell to one of them, you know, I believe that you are right. Do you think you will trust me? No, he will not trust me because I could do the reverse thing to the other one. So, no, it's not the way to work. I mean, our duty is to produce oil and gas for the, the best of each country. We continue to, that, to do that and business. And we've been doing that for a long time. And Along we have been in the Middle East for 19, 20, since 1924. And I think it's important because uh, we understand there is a... And we are respected and we respect them. You know, it's a question of mutual respect and loyalty again. And at the same time that the rule happened, we went to Iran to sign. So, you know, and I explained that to each of them. They are not necessarily very happy, but you know, you, it's not a question to be happy. It's a question of, uh, can we do that in the interest of each country? And this is our business. It's a very good note in which to end. Patrick Pouyanné, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.